People used to say nay to rosé, but now it's all the rage. To learn more, I headed to the Vault Wine Storage to find out the differences and what they offer. Sommelier Mark Massimi paints a rosy picture. So Mark, rosé is becoming very, very popular. It has. It's over, it's 32% increase in growth in 2015 and surpassed any other wine category. That's remarkable. It is. Why do you think that is? Rosé is varietally one of the most easiest wines to taste. It can be sweet or dry. What would you say the price range is for a good rosé? You can find a good rosé anywhere from 10 to 25 to 35 dollars at the top. That's pretty affordable. Yeah. Okay, good, good. Can guys drink it and feel manly? I think so. I mean, I don't feel intimidated and I love drinking rosé, so. That's good news because my boyfriend's from Dublin and he always says, don't tell the boys back home that I'm drinking rosé. He has to put down the Guinness. He has to get, he has to. <laughs> Mark and I tried three different varieties. First, the classic. This one hails from the birthplace of rosé, Côte de Provence in France. Mm. Now that is delightful, very easy on the palate. What does this pair well with? Very versatile, fish, chicken, any white meat, it goes fantastic at the table. Next, a modern Grenache rosé out of Santo Tomas, Baja, Mexico. Definitely more full flavoured and fruity and, and slightly sweeter. Yeah, and it's meant to pair well with cheese, it goes really well with fruit. It starts off the dinner so it's used really well as an aperitif. Ah, which helps aid digestion. And finally, the postmodern white Zinfandel rosé from California. Basically, the very pink stuff you see on most store shelves. So if you've got a sweet tooth, this is great, you're going to love this. Sticky, sweet, really uh, for someone with this sweet tooth. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. Rosé all day. Blushing with delight on The Lowdown.